Hey everyone, I'm the Fake Psychic, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. Got ourselves a happy little cutscene here. Oh no! Oh god! Oh man! Oh god! Oh man! Granby! Ah! Big scary thing. But he's just big and scary looking. However, he is very, very, very easy, Mr. Bone Shell. But you two are strangers. What? Wait, wait, wait. So, so... Love Bee is the pure heart. I feel much better now. Okay. So, how to beat Bone Chill? Super jump him. Because you will super jump, and then you'll more than likely land on top of him. There's probably a way to do it so you can just combo off the top of his head repeatedly. I. Uh, the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to grab those and throw them at them, but that's just too much effort. I mean, just like way too much effort. I mean, just do it the easy way. See. Also, his, the stuff on his face is a good indicator of how much hit points he's got left, and he's dead already. That's for one of the shortest boss fights. Because we're masters of the warm light. But That's grim. That guy just exploded. And strap in your seatbelts, we've got a cutscene until the rest of for the rest of this episode. So, she's actually the pure heart. Oh boy. I, I just, why? Why would you do this? That is, that's almost as great as Tippy being the pure heart in an earlier episode, episode level chapter. But, it, I, I just, I don't understand the point of this game sometimes. If Queen Jade had just said that, you know, oh, hey, here's the pure heart, she's my daughter, we could have skipped this entire chapter of backtracking. It's, uh, it's kind of why I didn't like Inception. It's just the plot could have been wrapped up so much easier if, you, if any character had any semblance of common sense. Admittedly, the over there would have fallen because we wouldn't have been here to stop Bone Chill, but who cares? We're saving the world world is greater than your individual puny kingdom. Anger. Your heart with daddy issues. That's just lovely. And they could have put music other than the pure heart music in this scene. I just, I, I just, I don't. I, 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 I'm just glad this game's almost over. And by almost over, I mean one more chapter. 
And it's essentially a boss rush chapter, from what I, if I remember this final chapter correctly. And we got the pure heart of a person, of a daughter, of a thing, of a created fake daughter. Yay! Anyway, that's about enough of this. This is almost over. We've still got three minutes, or no, two minutes worth of cutscenes. I can do math. Wow. Um. But, you know, it's the end of the chapter. It's all good. But, that's all pure hearts. Okay, yeah. There was eight, because there's pre chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, that's eight. Black cutscene Mr. Third Person. First person. I know English well. Intrigue! Strangers. Uh, this is definitely my favorite part of Super Pet Mario, is the whole Brumier and Timpani intrigue. Okay. Stories where Black kills his parents, blah blah blah. Oh my god, this game is exactly like Inception. Wow, that was like exactly wow. Oh, I know I don't like the story of this game or Inception. Anyway, this is almost over. Thank god. Hello, Merlon. And so, blah blah blah. Do we really have to kill Count Black? Yes, we do. Nope. Let's go. Okay. Heart pillar and flip side. Flop side. Next on Super Mario Final Chapter. See you guys then.